Hi, everybody. Welcome to English Digest. I'm Stephanie, and I'm Tom. Hey, we're talking about Broadway.、Um, a very fun thing to do if you're someone like me who loves musical theater. I always love musicals. So,、uh, if you like it, you're going to be excited to know that we're going to talk about some of the history of Broadway or musical theater. Sometimes when people say Broadway, they don't mean the actual area. Uh, in New York City, where you can go see a show, they're just talking about musical theater in general. You know, you don't have to say, "Oh, I love musical theater." You could say,、oh, "I love Broadway shows." In fact, I know Tom knows I love Broadway shows, but yeah, a lot of people are interested in musical theater. I know a lot of you out there aren't, and that's okay. We take turns and talk about different types of art,、um, and so this time we're going to be talking about the history or the golden age of Broadway. When was it? You know, what could you see? Who was、uh, starring in? And what was the most famous or most? I, I think the most,、uh, I guess, the most successful in some ways because it's the longest running play in Broadway history. It used to be Cats. Which I hate cats.、Mm-hmm. I have to tell a story. I actually was.、Um, I auditioned for for Cats the musical. You get sent out on these auditions, and I was chosen to play Jenny, the tap dancing cat on the national tour. And I actually turned it down.、Uh-oh. I can't stand that musical.、Um, there are some good songs in it. It was the first musical my mom ever took me to. So,、um, but yeah, Phantom of the Opera is still playing. So if you haven't seen it, there's still a chance you can go see it. Sometimes we get、uh, Broadway shows who will come over here.、Uh, I, I、yeah. saw Chicago here a couple years ago. The、okay. cast was very good too. Tom,、hmm. the star was the same person who'd start on Broadway. So、okay. we get good people. People. Yeah, well, we did talk a little bit about the history of Broadway in our last program.、Yeah. Uh, it opened in 1750, and then the first musical was the the Black Crook.、Uh, all of that was talked about in the first part of our lesson. But we're going to talk some more about the history of Broadway in today's lesson. So let's get to it. Let's read through the entire contents of our lesson for today, one time. The modern era can truly be called the golden age of Broadway. From the famous musicals of the 1950s and 1960s to today's blockbuster spectacles, the lights on Broadway are brighter now than ever. Nowhere is this more obvious than in *The Phantom of the Opera*, the longest-running play in Broadway history. Since its debut in 1988. The Phantom of the Opera has run continuously for more than 30 years. This single stage play had, at one point, earned more money than any other stage play, until The Lion King beat it in 2014. Phantom has also won several Tony Awards, the highest award in American theater. Only plays that have made it to Broadway may qualify to win. In fact. The stage version of Phantom was so popular that it was adapted into a movie in 2004, which also became a hit. It is far from the only show to do this, however. Chicago, Mamma Mia, and Les Misérables are among the many hit films that are adaptations of famous Broadway plays. Part of what makes Broadway productions so unforgettable is their remarkable creativity. One example is the 2016 musical *Waitress*, the story of a small-town diner that specializes in pies. Every time the play is staged, theater staff bake a real pie in an oven placed near the theater doors. By the time the play begins, the scent of freshly baked pie has filled the theater, adding an extra level to the audience experience. If you go to New York, think about making time to see a Broadway show. Then you too can sit back amazed as the curtain rises on an experience that you will never forget. Okay, let's continue talking about the history of Broadway, and we've now moved into the modern era. 
、uh, which is now, and perhaps also covering the last thirty, forty years or so. So the modern era can truly be called the golden age of Broadway. That's when the best shows came out, and those are the shows that most people know about, from the famous musicals of the nineteen fifties and nineteen sixties. To today's blockbuster spectacles, the lights on Broadway are brighter now than ever. So yes, we could probably bring up all sorts of examples of famous musicals from the fifties and sixties.、Uh, what there was, The Fiddler on the Roof, On a Clear Day You Can See Forever, etc., etc. Good shows.、Uh, it's yeah.、Uh, it's endless. The list there of all those famous shows that came out during that time. And now we've got these blockbuster spectacles,、uh, which I'm not really familiar with, but I guess they've got these really big shows on Broadway now, like The it, Lion King is one, like The Lion、yeah. King or The Phantom of the or Opera. Or Wicked. Uh, that one I、Those、haven't heard、huge. about, but they're huge in big theaters, and of course they're probably going to cost you a pretty penny, a lot of money there. But、uh, we're describing them as、uh, blockbuster spectacles.、Mm -hmm. uh, spectacle、uh, in this particular case means something that is really amazing for you to see because all sorts of things are going on.、Uh, spectacles, of course, is related to sight because spectator or spectacles all have to do with seeing things. That's what we used to call. Eyeglasses were spectacles. That's right. I think they still refer to them as spectacles in England as、mm. well. But、uh, yeah, we we know what that means in America. But、uh, yeah, it's a spectacle, which means it's、uh, really fantastic to see.、Uh, sometimes you could describe、uh, Taiwanese opera as being a spectacle with all those colorful music, all those costumes yeah, and the music、cool. and stuff like that. It's a spectacle for your eyes. Yeah, a blockbuster can be a film, a book, or any product that is really a success commercial. Commercially, it makes a lot of money. Nowhere is this more obvious than in the Phantom of the Opera, the longest-running play in Broadway history. If something's obvious, you really don't have to explain it or define it. People can pretty much see for themselves. It's understood. It's clear. It's evident. Yeah. If I ran into a friend、um, who'd lost about fifty pounds, I'd say, "Wow, it's obvious. You've been on a diet, and you've maybe been working out a lot. You look great." So nothing、uh, or nowhere is this more obvious than in the Phantom of the Opera, that's been around for so long. It debuted in 1988. Um, and it has run continuously for more than thirty years. It's never closed on Broadway. In fact, it's opened up in different cities around the world. My saddest story ever for Broadway or Phantom of the Opera was I was actually cast to sing in Switzerland in the Switzerland production, and I thought. It's the best country. It's so nice, and they closed two weeks before I was supposed to go over. Oh no! Yeah, but that's why hearts are broken in musical theater. You'll get really close, and then something will happen. That was a sad one. But this has run well almost continuously, so it gets a lot of people going. I'm sure everyone's seen it at least once or twice. I think I've seen it four or five times. I've gone with my family as well. Continuously, guys, if something's continuous. Us, it doesn't stop. Sometimes we can describe the rain in Taiwan as being continuous. In the winter, sometimes it just feels like it's just continuously raining. That means it doesn't stop. If you want to emphasize that it's happening a lot, but it does stop now and then. Use constantly. It's constantly raining here, but continuous means it never stops. That sort of reminds me. I think I heard a while ago that somewhere in the world there's a fire that has been burning.、Really? Continuously. Continuously for Ooh. many years. Ooh, bad. I'm gonna have to go online and look that up.、Uh, yeah, they can't figure out how to put it out. Is it a trash、like uh, area? I don't remember.、Terrible. I honestly don't remember. But it has been burning continuously for、yeah. many years, and the Phantom of the Opera has run continuously for more than three decades. Long time. Now, this single stage play had at one point earned more money than any other stage play. Until the Lion King beat it in 2014, I've heard of that too.、Uh, did the Lion King,、uh, the actual Broadway production, come out after the Disney film no. or before? No. So the film is after the Broadway show. You got to see it if you haven't seen the Lion King. It's the one show I would. Well, in Hamilton, it's really cool too. But they have masks that they have really high above their heads. It's the most amazing thing I've ever seen. The person who did the costumes is brilliant,、um, and then they went on to make the 
movie, which is so adorable, but not really similar to the Broadway musical because they're all cartoon. Characters in the the film, as you know, so those are fun ones to see, and they're definitely blockbusters. Now, Phantoms also won something called a Tony Award. If you're really good and you're in film, you can win an Oscar or an Academy Award. But if you're on stage, then the awards that you win for Best Actor, Best Play, Best Musical are called Tony Awards. If you're in England, theirs are called. Olivier Awards after a very famous actor, Laurence Olivier. So every country has their own awards, as does Taiwan. As you know,、mm. with the films, they have the Golden Horse Awards. You know,、uh, is that for drama or something? That's for film. I've heard of the Golden Bell and the Golden、probably、Horse. From, yeah, the Golden Horse is film. The Bell's probably music. Okay,、huh? I should be more、uh, aware of that kind of thing.、Mm-hmm. But in any case, here, yes, we are talking about the Tony Awards, and、uh, yeah, they are on TV sometimes.、Uh, most people. People are not particularly interested in this because, for the rest of the country, we're more interested in Hollywood. But if you're in New York and you've got some money to burn, you can go check out some of these performances.、Uh, I've been to New York many times, but I just don't go to those plays because they're way overpriced. There's an area though,、that. right、yeah. there on Broadway, Forty、uh, Second Street, where you can get tickets half price for that day's show. So yeah, if TKTS they have, it, yeah, yeah, ticks,、like、yeah. If you haven't, if they haven't sold out. Uh, then the theater will offer tickets for half price, so that's a way to go see them. A lot of people, especially tourists, go there. So yeah, only plays that have made it to Broadway may qualify to win. If you qualify for something, it means you've actually passed some sort of standard, or you fulfilled all the conditions or the rules to qualify、um, to live in Taiwan. For foreigners, you have to have worked. Five years continuously with a work permit, and then you can qualify to apply for a Yongzhou Julio Zhang, which we both have. So there are different ways to qualify for different competitions or awards or things like that. Yeah, you can't just sign up for the Boston Marathon either. <laughs> you have to、no. qualify.、Uh, my <laughs> sister qualified for it a couple of years ago. I can't remember how well she did. Have to、well、go pretty、did. fast. Yeah.、Uh, yeah, it's a big marathon, and everybody wants to run it. So yeah,、True. they can't. Let everybody in.、No. You have to qualify for it. I don't know about the Taipei Marathon, but in any case, I think that brings us to the midway point in today's discussion. So let's take a little break right now. But please stay tuned. We'll be right back. Hello, everyone. My name is Tina. 今天呢，我们可以称之为现代是百老汇的黄金年代 ，the Golden Age of Broadway. 第一段的第二个句子提到。From the famous musicals of the 1950s and 1960s to today's blockbuster spectacles, the lights on Broadway are brighter now than ever. 这里提到从西元一九五零及六零年代的著名音乐剧到今天的畅销精彩表演，那么百老汇闪烁的灯光比过去任何时刻都要来得更加明亮。这里的 blockbuster 当然指的是卖座的，而 spectacle 呢，这里指的是一种景象或者是奇观的意思。举个例子来说，除夕燃放的烟火呢，是美妙的奇观。你就可以说 ，the display of fireworks on New Year's Eve was a fine spectacle。而第二段要介绍的呢，是最有名的 The Phantom of the Opera。歌剧魅影这个音乐剧，在第二段第二个句子提到 ，since its debut in 1988, the Phantom of the Opera has run continuously for more than 30 years. 从一九八八年 debut， 也就是呢首场表演以来，歌剧魅影。已经连续演出三十多年了。这里的 continuously 呢，解释成为连续不断的的意思。他获了很多的奖项，就连美国剧场的最高奖项，也就是呢，东尼奖 （Tony Award）， 他也都得到。而后面提到 ，only plays that have made it to Broadway may qualify to win. 只有呢，成功进入百老汇的戏剧才有资格获得这样子的奖项。We're going to take a quick break. Stay tuned. We'll be right back.
Okay, let's continue to talk about Broadway. We've been talking mostly about the golden age of Broadway and some famous musicals that are being performed right now、mm. as we speak. So yes, indeed, if you're going to go visit your uncle or your aunt who live in Queens or something in New York, and you're going to be spending some time there, maybe you ought to consider taking the seven train down to Forty、uh, Second Street there and look for some tickets. To see the Phantom of the Opera, the Lion King, or whatever is playing there right now. Maybe if you're lucky, you'll get a ticket to Hamilton. Yeah. Also, the one nine two three. It all goes down there to Broadway. So Hamilton's getting cheaper because it's been out longer. I had to go see it, you know, in West End. It was almost impossible to see it in New York. I'm not paying five hundred dollars, but I.、Uh, I do recommend it. It's a good show. It's a blockbuster. So it says here in the middle of the second paragraph, it says, "In fact, it talks about qualifying to win a Tony Award. You have to actually be in the Broadway theater district." There are also lots of little plays and little shows. I've been in some of them. They're called Off Broadway or Off Off Broadway, and the audience、uh, maybe can fit about ten people or maybe forty people in there.、Um, a lot of actors and actresses will be in those plays just to be seen, but they never qualify to win a Tony Award. In fact, it says the stage version of Phantom was so popular that it was adapted into a movie in two thousand four. Yeah, I remember that. I was just a little too old, and I was like, "Oh, why did they do it ten years ago?"、Um, I like the guy who plays a、um, what's his name, Raphael. I can't remember. Not familiar with it. Oh,、sorry. it's been so long. Anyway,、uh, I wanted to do Christine, of course. So the stage version. There are different versions of things. Could be the book version, the film version,、uh, you know, the musical theater version. So it was adapted or changed from that stage version. Into a movie, and it was pretty, pretty popular. I must say,、uh, the guy who plays the romantic lead is really cute and a good singer. The girl's okay. But I'm I'm biased. I'm prejudiced. Yeah, you know? I, I haven't heard of the movie <laughs> version of this, so that was quite some time ago. This is just about when I、uh, landed back in Taiwan. Right. So it、uh, became a hit. It is far from the only show to do this. However, I mentioned Chicago. I think、uh, Renee Zellweger、uh, was in that. Oh, it's so good. The movie version's great. Mama Queen Mia. Queen Latifah was in that, I think, too. Yes, she was.、Uh, Richard Gere. Yeah, that was in Chicago. It's awesome. Mama Mia. I think that's based on an ABBA song, right? Mama Mia, here、all、I go、ABBA、again.、Songs. They're all, all ABBA, ABBA songs. songs. Okay. Yeah. And this one, Les Misérables.、Mm-hmm. Uh, I've heard about that, but I have no idea what it's about. Oh yeah, you do. It's a very famous. Novel by Victor Hugo. The movie version had Hugh Jackman, very good,、um, and a lot of people that you'll recognize. Mamma Mia, of course, had Meryl Streep, so you might want to check those out. You can still see them. The movie version, you're yeah. The movie、about. versions.、Okay. Actually, Mamma Mia is still on. I think it's still playing on Broadway. So Les Mis is closed. That's probably my favorite musical of all time. I love those songs. So check those out if you haven't seen the movie or the. Musical, and I'm sure those musicals are going to come around again someday. It's worth saving up your money if you love musical theater to get a ticket and see it here in Taiwan. Okay, let's move on now to the next paragraph. It says, "Part of what makes Broadway productions so unforgettable、mm. is their remarkable creativity.、Yeah. They're not just putting on a show. Let's just do some songs, have a storyline, have some dialogue, and do some dancing and be done with it. No,、mm. we've got to do something new, something that has not been done before." And so we're talking about their creativity—the idea of coming up with things that have not been done before. You're going to create new things, maybe new dance steps,、uh, interesting songs, or different kinds of approaches to the particular play or musical. I think、uh, Hamilton does that with、uh, various actors.、Uh, what is the deal there? They've kind of brought hip hop into rap. Yeah, rap yeah, into、true. modern uh, productions. Uh, about talking about a story. In early American history, when hip hop did not exist, so that's kind of an interesting、uh, kind of creativity.
Nazi there. Yeah, and they also have instead of casting all white actors, because of course George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, all of the people who started,、uh, you know, America, they were all white back then. They've cast、uh, different actors who are either African American, Indian. It's very interesting. Great music, and it's very, very fun to watch. Yeah, but expensive. So I have to hope <laughs>、yeah. for the movie version to come out here one of these days. Hope so. Hope so. Eventually. Yeah. So here is an example of something that's kind of really creative. It's the musical Waitress. It was first a movie.、Um, if you've ever seen that, the movie I can recommend. It's kind of a small film, kind of sad, funny, and then they turned it into a musical when、uh, a very famous pop singer, her name's Sarah Bareilles, she wrote the music. And the music's really good. I really like this,、um, but it's a story of a very small town diner. This town probably has less than a thousand people in it. Very small town. A diner is when you can go and get something to eat twenty four seven. Usually,、oh, we have a couple diners here in Taiwan. There's、mm. one that is called the diner. And I really recommend them.、Um, and they'll serve breakfast all day. They have comfort food like macaroni and cheese, things like that. Well, this diner specializes in pies. So there's a waitress who works at this diner who just loves making pies, and she just comes up with the most interesting flavors, and they're so delicious. And it's also kind of a love story. Okay, it's kind of sad too,、um, but she ends up having a baby, and it's kind of a a three way love story. You'll have to see it to know、uh, how that ends. But、uh, every time the play is staged. And it's currently still showing back in New York. Theater staff who work there in the theater, selling tickets and programs, and telling you where your seat is located. They'll bake a real pie in an oven that's placed near the theater doors. And as the show is is going on, you can smell a real pie baking, which is delicious. Right, so this is the staff there. Please don't add an S to this、no. word. It never has one. Never. Never. So this is the theater staff, the people who work at the theater. They actually bake pies. Hopefully, they'll sell. They'll sell the pies after the show is they over. They sell some pies too. They do. Yeah, they would be foolish not to. They could still make some money there. <laughs> and by the time the play begins, the scent of freshly baked pie has filled the theater, adding an extra level to the audience experience. Wow,、yeah. it smells like a pie. I really enjoy this play. Imagine what they would do if they had a play about cho dofu. What kind of a <laughs> smell would that be? It might the drive、theater? people away. It might、foreigners. be, but of course, as they say, it <laughs> tastes much better than it smells.、Hopefully. Now, if you go to New York, here in the next paragraph, it says. Think about making time to see a Broadway show. Yes,、uh, when you travel to different parts of the world, you need to do what you're supposed to do in those places. So, seeing a Broadway show is probably something you should consider, despite the price. Then you too can sit back amazed. As the curtain rises on an experience that you will never forget.、Mm -hmm. So yes, you'll be amazed,、uh, which is similar to another word we use to describe this、uh, particular experience. You'll be thrilled. You'll be amazed. You will be、um, what's another word?、Uh, you will be、uh, stupefied. You stupefied. Will be, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It will just blow you away.、Uh, it's just an experience that you will never forget.、Or、yeah, I still have images from seeing the only Broadway production I saw way back in the. 70s. Yeah, if you plan to go to New York City, just plan that all your evenings are going to be taken up by shows. You'll have to save your pennies, though.、Um, but if you can get your tickets at TIKS, it is a little cheaper. But when I go to Broadway, I know I'm going to go to a Yankees baseball game, of course, at least one, and of course as many Broadway shows as I can fit in. But yeah, it's not cheap. But、uh, you're going to see some of the best performers around. And it's all live. It's very exciting to see a, see a live show, a movie. They have lots of chances to just do it perfectly, but if it's live, you get what comes out right then. It's always hard too, especially those Broadway musical theater folks. They're doing eight shows every week, which is hard on your voice. So well, they want to be famous, so that's the price、tough. you pay.、Mm. And of course, if you can't pay the price to go see a Broadway play, you can always see people performing in the subway.、Uh, <laughs> they're always doing something down there, but they do expect a donation. Okay,、mm -hmm. that brings us to the end of our explanation for today. Let's listen now to our Chinese teacher.
。接着后面的句子提到 ，In fact, the stage version of Phantom was so popular that it was adapted into a movie in 2004, which also became a hit. 在这里提到呢，歌剧《魅影》的舞台版是如此的受到欢迎，以至于它在西元两千零四年的时候被改编成为电影，同时也是一个非常卖座的电影。我们来看一下 “adapt” 这个动词，它有改编、改写的意思。举个例子来说 ，The author is going to adapt his play for television. 指的呢，就是作者要把他的剧本改编成为电视剧，所以在这里的 adapt 就是有改编的意思。第三段第一句提到 ，part of what makes Broadway productions so unforgettable is their remarkable creativity。这一句的主词呢，是从一刚开始的 part 一直到 unforgettable。那么，所谓让百老汇的成品，它的所制作出来的表演是如此的难忘的原因，就是部分 part of what 部分原因就是呢，他们呢非常出色的创造力。Remarkable 可以解释成为非凡的、出色的意思。那么其中呢，就提到了在二零一六年的音乐剧叫做《Waitress》。女服务生很特别的是，在开始之前，戏院的工作人员都会先烤好派，放在戏院的门口。这一段的最后一句提到 ：By the time the play begins, the scent of freshly baked pie has filled the theater, adding an extra level to the audience experience. 在这里看到 by the time， 我们就要想到它的中文意思叫做到了什么什么时候。后面的主要句子常常搭配的是完成式，所以到了这个戏剧真的开始表演的时候呢，这种新鲜出炉派的香气就 has filled。完成式出现了，就会充满着整个戏院，而这样子就增添了观众在体验上又有一个额外的一个 level， 额外的境界。这一段今天文章的最后一句提到 ，Then you too can sit back amazed as the curtain rises on an experience that you will never forget. 有机会去纽约百老汇看看演出，那么你呢，也可以呢坐在那里，然后感到惊艳。对什么感到惊艳？就是当这些帷幕上升，然后呢，你会体验到一场永难忘怀的经验。OK， 以上就是今天的课文讲解，谢谢收听。Okay, that brings us to the end of our lesson for today. Thank you so much for joining us, and please join us again next time for another edition of our program. From all of us here at English Digest, I'm Tom. I'm Stephanie. Bye. Bye.